guys um, so I'm doing like uh, zone 2 exercise right now I'm basically jogging really really slowly even like slower than uh, people who are walking so many times people who are walking can just pass by me because I jog really slowly so what is zone 2 exercise so this is really important so zone 2 exercise basically it's a um, exercise where you kind of like about 60 to 70 percent of your maximum heart rate okay or another way if you don't have that kind of like a heart rate monitoring system like um you know like a apple watch or fitbit it's the way to tell that if you are can do zone 2 exercise can you guess i'm doing it right now i can talk to you right now like this for hours okay while i'm doing zone 2 exercise so that is the hallmark of zone 2 exercise if and when you're doing like cardio running and you can still talk comfortably like this for not just for minutes but uh, for uh, like multiple minutes even for hours that's the one that's uh, the hallmark of zone 2 exercise another way to put it is when you're doing like zone 2 exercise is like you're not like <laughs> when you're doing like that that means you're not able to talk right when you're able to talk like that it's like you're like humping and puffing that means you are like too over exercise right so that means you have to slow down a little bit right until when you can just like you know you can still like talking like this yeah, right and and you're you're having a hard time but just a little bit not too much right you can keep this up for keep this up for like one hour or two hours right at least for 30 minutes so that is the hallmark of zone 2 exercise um, okay so those that that's that's uh, I'm already explaining you what is zone 2 exercise and then why so the why is really important because I just learned this the past like one or two years listening to Peter Atia if you haven't heard about Peter Atia, check it out. He's on YouTube. See, basically he has a, I think, PhD degree, or like he's a general surgeon from, I think, Stanford. He's a mechanical engineering also from Stanford. So, basically he's a, quite a well-respected, right? And then he does a lot of research, basically. And he's also a, a kind of like a freak in exercising for health and longevity. So he's been basically um, doing a lot of research interviewing a lot of like uh, expert who are into this like field so basically the research says that the most like healthiest people on earth that you can find right among the healthiest one is like, like the cyclists or even the runners right so and then the next question is why are the cyclists and the runners like the most healthiest so to give you like a uh, a fact that there are like 90 years old or even like 80 years old cyclists or runners who has a mitochondrial mitochondrial level of like 30 year old if you do not know what is mitochondria it's basically it's a cell in our body that generates energy right ATP ATP so that is really important as you get older because these cells are kind of like dying right so you want to have have a lot of this like healthy uh, cells, mitochondrial cells in your body. So the way to do this, to make the uh, mitochondrial cells like kicking and alive as you are getting older, is to do zone two exercise. That's what the research uh, says, the study says, and that's what the proof says. You can literally uh, see the proof, uh, the people who are uh, 90 years old, who still like has a mitochondrial health, like a 30 years old person. So that is why. I think that is the most important thing that you want to uh, take because if you do not know what's the reason why you're doing it, then you don't feel motivated, right? So, yeah, so I'm doing this, uh, what, like uh, three times in a week. I do it alternately. So I do like cardio or zone two exercise for like, let's say Monday. And then um, I skip Tuesday and then Wednesday again. And then I do it on Friday, so like three three times. Sometimes I do it four four times in a week. And then in between that, I do strength training. So basically, zone two cardio, 
Suntu, cardio, suntu, cardio, like that. And then the last day is like suntu slash cardio, depending on my like strength and ability to do it, right? So if I'm feeling so tired, if you're feeling like so sore, I'm feeling sore, the next day I wake up, that means probably I overdo my exercise. So the thing is about zone two exercise is very like doable and very sustainable, right? And it's like, you can see that I'm, I'm like having fun. I like doing it because I used to do all of those like crazy exercises, like the intensity training. I feel like at the end of doing it, it's like I don't feel like um, like energized at all. But in zone two, it's like I still feel good at the end of the rest, even though I've been running for like 45 minutes or one hour, right? So, all right. Uh, what other things I can say about zone two exercise? So, yeah. Um, check it out if you want to know more. Probably the best way to do it, I think, or suggest to Google or YouTube on Peter Atia, right? He has a lot of, like, he interview a couple of uh, research experts on the zone to exercise. So stay healthy, stay strong, and we're going to grow old together, and we're going to have fun and strong. That's the most important thing. Ciao.